Okay, I am exhausted today. <clears throat> I stayed up on blog TV till about 1 in the morning. I didn't even know there was a blog TV going on. So I normally get an update, and I wasn't looking at my phone, and I realized after laying down in bed last night that Hellmouth was doing a blog TV. I'm glad I went. It was awesome, but I'm so exhausted. Didn't think I would actually do a project today, but I did. Um, and here it is now. So I'll go ahead and play my little project that I did today. It literally took no time at all. Uh, spur of the moment, didn't plan on making it, just was still trying to clean the garage a little bit and found a hatchet and decided to make one. So, roll that footage. Hello everybody. Okay, I've never really thought about doing this kind of stuff before, but I thought I would, you know, see how easy it is. Since you can make just about anything out of foam. Um, I actually have this real hatchet here. Don't ask me where I got that. I have not killed anyone with it. Basically, I just traced a piece of foam and then cut it out with my hot wire foam factory tool to be, you know, pretty similar in shape. I had this um, wooden dowel already. I had a uh, piece of foam. Cut it out with my hot wire foam factory thing so this fits in it like that. And then I could round that off to be pretty similar to the hatchet. I mean, it's a little bigger. But that's fine. Bigger is better. And, you know, I could wrap, like, electrical tape around this. And I have some rust paint for this thing. But I can take some wire hangers and push through there to make that to support that and then I could cover it with um, liquid latex a couple two or three coats of liquid latex to protect this foam and add a little bit of wire through the middle of there um, and then I could electrical tape that thing on there too and then I could do like that rust coating anyway we'll see how it turns out I've never really thought about making some junk like that but there it is pretty simple okay so Here's what I have so far. The styrofoam is around this base. I just covered it with electrical tape. You know, carved it to where it's generally the shape of the other one. Like I said, it's a little longer. I uh, cut a hole in the foam on the bottom. Give it to, I'm gonna probably Gorilla Glue it in there. Add some wire to strengthen this foam. I mean, they're not really going to hit anybody with it, so I guess, you know, just the person holding it, um, I guess they do break it. It only took me like five minutes so far to work on this, so anyway, it's pretty cool. Side-by-side -side comparison there. I guess I could cut this. Um, here to make it the same size. I mean, if you guys think that it needs to be, I don't know, that size. This looks more like a tomahawk, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut this off. Okay. Okay, like 10 seconds later, actually. <laughs> there. Yeah, it's a little more compact. Like a it looked a little bit like a tomahawk before, so now it's like a little axe. All right, let's see if I can get this thing to look rusty and a little more real. Um, fix the end a little bit more, add the wire to it. Cool. Okay, so I did the foam. As I'm sanding it, it broke. So what I decided to do was just cut some paper template and put on either side of the foam to strengthen it up. I'll glue that all together, and that actually should be pretty strong. Okay, so I 
glued the cardboard outer shell onto the foam. And I have it taped right now so it can dry. Um, I may just leave the tape on there and then just put the latex right on top of that. Um, I mean, it's going to have a rust coat over the top of it anyway, so it's not really going to matter. The latex will <clears throat> keep it all together. So, anyways, it looks pretty cool. It's really light. Wouldn't really hurt anybody. Not like this one. <laughs> cool. <clears throat> Not that it has to be in a hot, dark haunted house. Um, very realistic, but if you look closely, you can still see some of the silver metallic through the rust. Um, there's still lots of silver showing through. So, I actually have some silver spray paint. I'm going to spray paint this bad boy silver first. Alright guys, <laughs> I got a little carried away. Didn't really show you guys the next few steps. Um, particularly the paint job. But, there's the finished axe. Oh, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> there's the finished axe. So, real, fake. Real fake. Get it? So real, fake, foam, and cardboard. So we can get a good shot of this thing. So it's got the rusted appearance, weathered for sure. It's still got a little of the metallic showing through. Um, basically, all I did was. I did a coat of brown, dark brown, first. Then I did, well, sorry, back up. I did a coat of silver first all over the whole thing. To protect the foam from melting, I did put brown latex on the exposed foam and then sprayed this so it didn't dissolve it. Then... <clears throat> Then I sponge coated brown over the silver, and then I spot painted black. Like I'm like way far away from it, and I'm just like barely like that to get some black speckles on it until that looked good. And then I went back over it with this, and I did the same thing with the silver to hit it to give it that metallic look again. So in the lights in the haunt, you know, this thing will be like. You know, shing, shing, what, 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 what? So what do you think? No hurdy. So there is my completed fake hatchet. I mean, that really took no time at all. And free. It costs free. It costs absolutely free. I had the foam, the little wooden dowel, some electrical tape, some foam, some scraps of cardboard out of the freaking trash. I went and dug it out, and then spray paint I had in my pantry. So now one of my actors can have a, a hatchet that looks pretty dang real. I think that turned out pretty damn good. That's crazy. I didn't even know I could do that. Um, I guess watching the uh, watching all the um, Midwest, or not Midwest, West Coast haunt conventions and haunt con and all that, seeing those uh, fake weapons, sorry, I'm picking paint off of my hand, seeing all those fake weapons, and then I actually went to a couple of those websites. Uh, I'm like, you know what, I'd like to have some of those realistic looking fake weapons in my haunt, and uh, oh my god, like basically this, like what I just made for zero dollars. That looks, I think, pretty damn good. And literally, I mean, actual time spent on this thing, 30 minutes maybe, max. Um, dude, free. And on the website, those uh, hatchets and sledgehammers and all that kind of stuff, like $85.
Um, now they're hard, rigid foam. Like I was going to make one of these next, but that looks like a metal one because I have this one to carve. This is a rubber mallet. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I'll have all those um, weapons in the hall or not, but it's still kind of cool to have it. So anyway, hopefully that helps you uh, be encouraged to make your own and get your haunt on. Do it. Do it now.